Check. Check. Jump. Check. Hey there everyone, my name is Gamepart and welcome to another episode on the Infinity Craft server. In today's episode, we are going to be doing a bunch of stuff. Not quite sure what that's going to look like yet. A lot of times I promise a lot of things about what's going to happen in an episode and they don't actually happen. But I would like to try to get work done on the Concrete Factory because that's been an outstanding project for quite a while. But before we get started on that, I want to show you what's behind me here. During the time between episodes, I did a bit of grinding and was able to get a few mob heads. So let's see what we have. We have the rabbit and the cow that we got in the last episode, but we've also managed to get a shulker head, a uh, whatever these are, uh, the husk, is that what it's called? Yeah, the husk head. This is a salmon head, sheep head, chicken head, squid head, which looks really derpy. Uh, this is a cod head, which kind of looks like an old man, sort of. We have an enderman head and a phantom head head so what's that that is 11 heads so far so i am well on my way to getting all the heads i don't even know how many there are yeah anyway off the concrete factory here we are arriving at the concrete factory and we have let's see i don't even remember how much we have left to do on this as far as the internal walls we have one, two, three, four, five walls left to do now i'm not going to bother doing a third person time lapse i'm not going to talk while I do all of this, I am just going to put my head down and get this thing done. So the next time you see me, there should be glass walls in all these locations. I will also add the end wall on there. Uh, I can't remember, did I put glowstone in the end of this wall over here? I can't remember and it's, uh, can't see through the glass. I think I did start putting the glowstone. Um, still can't see, still can't see. Oh, yeah, yep, yep, we got the glowstone in there. So, I will get the five glass walls and the external walls and cap walls done before you see me again. There we go! All done! That is uh, two exterior walls and all the walls in between. Now, I've placed down some bricks down at the bottom here. I took a bucket and I laid out... Um, kind of just a grid plan of how we need to dispense water into this thing so every single block in this area is covered because this is going to be how we turn the concrete powder into hardened concrete en masse which is just french for it all together in, in a big mass group just thought i should clarify that so i have a bunch of dispensers in my inventory a bunch of water buckets also all those uh, enchanted bows that I have through um, AFK fishing, I discovered that I can use broken or broken enchanted bows to make dispensers. So that's actually a really cool use for all those things that I have. All right, so we are going to find our middle block here. And that's not it. There we go. Now, I know that to start off, I'm going to go three blocks in uh ooh, i just had a thought i'm going to need to do this lower so i can put the dispensers in properly can i um that's not going to be good enough can i get a block directly underneath here yeah i can so i need to build some scaffolding because uh the dispenser needs to be dropping like pointing downwards. So I need to build some scaffolding across. Uh, then I am going to install the droppers and we're gonna hook them up with some redstone. And we're gonna connect the redstone to a button. It's gonna be very, very simple because we only wanna activate um, the color that we wanna turn into hardened concrete. So essentially, uh, let's see, how many blocks do I have here? One, two, three. Uh, hmm. 
this is actually I'm gonna need to think through this just a little bit more. Right. So I'm gonna have to put the scaffolding row and this row here because we're gonna go in de trois. Wait, is that three? One, two, three. Yep, three. And then we are going to put our dispenser up here. Okay. And it is pointing down. Then we are going to put a water bucket inside. And if, uh, do I have, no, I don't. Oh, uh, will that work? No, I need some smooth stone. And I don't have any smooth. I don't have anything I can use to make a button. Anyway, so when this gets activated, it will spit out water. And with all nine dispensers dispensing water, what's going to happen, and you'll see this once we activate it, uh, water's going to flow down to whatever level the concrete powder is on, and it's going to spread out all over the concrete powder and turn it instantaneously into hardened concrete. Um, so let me get the fiddly work of getting these dispensers installed. Then we're going to hook up the redstone uh, get, and get this thing tested. As you can see, all the dispensers are in place. I am going to put a water bucket in each one of these. We're going to hook up the redstone and we are going to give this thing a little bit of a test. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how many of these things do not have water buckets in them yet. Water buckets in place. Next thing we are going to do is lay down the redstone. So we are going to put, okay, redstone. I, I don't know if I need that one there, but we're gonna put redstone oh, all the way back. And then we're gonna do, just repeat this over. Redstone repeaters, redstone repeaters, redstone repeaters, and uh, I think that should work. Here we go! Redstone in place, repeaters in place. I am going to make a button and place down the button, and let's see what happens. Let's see if this was a long enough pulse do what we want it to do. Well, the whole thing is now water, but do they stop? Huh. Okay, they didn't stop. Uh, maybe I need a lever. So I've discovered what I need to do. I could put a lever down or I can just turn it on with the button and turn it off with the button. That's what it seems to do. So, pressing it once. Oh, let me get a little closer. Press, uh, maybe I have to use my hand. Pressing it once by right clicking it, turns them on. Pressing it again, turns them off. So, that's all I need to do. So, this is working. All I need to do now is replicate this uh, 15 more times. Yeah, I just need to replicate this whole thing 15 more times. That'll take me a little bit of time. All the dispensers, redstone, and activator buttons are in place, but when I hit the activator button, nothing happens. That's because I don't have enough buckets to fill all of the dispensers. So there are 12 rows of dispensers that still need buckets of water. That is... 12 rows times 9 dispensers each, which is 108 buckets or 324 pieces of iron. Now, we used pretty much all of our iron when we made the void with all the maps. Oh, I should really eat something here. Um, I, I, I forgot that I... Like I, I, I don't, sometimes I just don't pay attention to my food. And um, if an elytra doesn't kill me... Uh, that will, because then my health will get low, and I won't uh, even notice. But we need, what was it, um, 108 buckets, 324 pieces of iron. So the best place to start 
is to check out and see if Mr. Silver has, uh, okay, 32 for one, not the greatest, and, and he has no iron. No iron. Wow. Um, okay. Well, let me do some quick maths here. So, uh, 324 pieces of iron divided by 64. So that is a little over five stacks worth of iron we're going to need to get. Looks like I'm going to have to go on a mining mission. But perhaps we can just leave that for another episode because I do want to show you something quickly before we go today. I've been thinking about expanding the kelp farm for a little while. And I've been wondering how I could do it. I did do a little bit of uh, work under the ground here. Uh, let's see if I can just pop underneath. And I was thinking, well, if I dig it out, I could do multiple levels of the kelp shop. Um, but then I was thinking uh, that might not be the best way of doing this. So what I've decided, because I'd have to uh, create a bunch of different collection chains. And the more collection chains we have, the more hoppers we have to use. And the more potential lag um, could be created on the server. And we want to keep that at a minimum. I mean, I've already created a whole void's worth of entities over here with the maps and I don't want to cause too too much problems in this area. So what I've decided to do is extend it out on both sides and you can see I've already laid down the blocks here and so my my goal is to expand this by uh, like two times. So if this is the original this would be one time expansion and this would be two times expansion over here. Uh, let's head up to the very top, and obviously it looks like I can collect some kelp again. I mean, this thing does produce... Oh, and I've also made some adjustments. Uh, I made this a little easier for me to get in and out of. I had just a single opening here, like a 1 by 2 and uh, sometimes you get stuck and you can't quite get in. And I realized without the furnace items here, I don't need to keep that. So, we just open this up, and we're going to keep this open all the way across here. Uh, ooh, my, my ladder skills are not... Ugh, why can't I climb a ladder right now? Seriously. So, water we know will travel eight blocks. So what I've done is I've, by extending this out, um, by two, like by, by two wids worth over here, um, we can keep just one row of water, like one water flow system coming to these existing central hoppers and we don't have to expand the collection at all just the water stream that's pushing the kelp into the hoppers so that is a great way of extending this kelp farm without causing too too much lag now talking about lag and uh, trying to avoid that with our void let's check this oh ouch let's check to see if we are making any sales over in the void shop. I just wanted to see, ah, uh, yeah, that looks really good. I'm I'm super, super happy with it. Until that happens. Let's try this again. I'm not going to fall off this time, but I am going to see. Okay, so we've done some, some sales. So clearly we have sold an elytra and four stacks, like four stacks of 16 obsidian. So that's, that's pretty good. We have 36 more diamonds. Now let's go and check the kelp farm. I've already collected some profits off the kelp farm. In fact, uh, when I finished off the kelp farm, oh, well, the kelp fat, ah, I'm messing up my words, the kelp store, that's the word I'm looking for, um, and I told the other Infinity Craft members about it, I sold out immediately, like, I, I completely sold out immediately, so I sold out all of these, and then I sold out uh, the whole bottom row after I restocked, so what's this, Two, four, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So I've made seventeen diamonds off the kelp store so far, um, and I think that that is 
pretty good. One more thing that I want to try to do before we finish off this episode today is get another mob head. If you remember in the last episode, I issued a gotta catch from all mob head challenge to the other Infinity Craft members, and we have not gotten a new mob head during this episode. In between clips while I was working on things, while it was nighttime, I tried getting a creeper head. I haven't been able to do that yet. I really want a creeper head because I need one for a banner. Plus, I need one for the Gotta Catch Them All challenge. But I think there is one mob head that I might be able to get in today's episode. If you notice in my hot bar, I've got six Wither Skulls. Um, wither Skulls, I'm not really counting towards the challenge because they are just regular drops and you can get them anytime with the uh, Wither Skeleton Farm. But I think that I've got two Wither Worths of Skeleton Skulls. So if we kill the Wither, in the end, we might be able to get a Wither Skull. And I think that's probably doable before we finish off today. So, I have in my inventory right now six Wither Skull, Wither Skeleton Skulls. All I need is the Soul Sand. Now, do I have some Soul Sand in here? Yeah, I have some Soul Sand. Also, to be on the safe side, I am going to grab my pumpkin head and I am going to go into the end. All right, here we go. And uh, you know, I've been by these birch trees several times. I have no idea why there's birch trees here in the end. If anybody knows why, leave a comment down in my comment section. I'm just really kind of curious what the birch trees are about. I haven't seen them in anybody's videos uh, so far. And I just, I is, is there a reason to have birch trees in the end. Uh, what's in this chest? Uh, oh, somebody's left some soul sand there. That's that's pretty good. All right, I am thinking that, uh, considering that withers are rare mobs, that the mob head drop rate should be pretty high. All right, let's back her up here and uh, see what happens. Okay. Go ahead, do your explodey exploit. No, there we go. Ah! That's what we're talking about. Okay. Let's, uh. Just a couple of hits here. With my nice sword. Oh, and he's almost gone. Let's see if he's gonna drop his skull. Come on, Witherhead. Witherhead for the win. Aha, sweet. And we got a Witherhead. And another uh, nether star, is that what it's called? Yeah, nether star. So, since we're here, let's, uh, let's see just how often these things are going to drop their heads. I, I, I wanna do another one here. Here we go. What? Takes a while for them to get their explody on. There we go. Here we are. Oh, maybe I'm not close enough. There we go. Let me uh, have a little bit of my coffee here. That's some good Starbucks Dark Roast going on there. Ooh. Wait, that looks different. Whoa! Wither Invulnerable. Okay, so... There's actually two different kinds of wither heads. That's kind of cool. So, Infinity Craft members, just so you know, in order to uh, get all the skulls, you must get both types of wither skull uh, wither skulls. Yeah, cuz cuz that that's kind of cool. So we've got the wither and wither invulnerable. So it's kind of got that glow to it. What what does it look like if I put it on my head? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Awesome. So that's two more heads for the collection. 
So we've got lots of things going on. I'm really happy at the progress that we're making on that concrete factory. I think in between episodes, I'm going to try to collect as much iron as I can, get those buckets made, get that in there, and then we'll be able to see the whole thing functioning in the next episode. But that is all the time that I have for today's episode. If you've enjoyed this episode, why not hit that like button? If you're new to my channel or haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button today and make me a very happy game par. As always, you can check out the other Infinity Craft members. If you look to the right hand side of my YouTube page, they're all listed right there. Why don't you go check them out, show them some love, hit their like buttons, and subscribe to their channels. But for now, this has been Game Par on the Infinity Craft server. Have a great day, everyone.